Hey, it's how you do it. It's me, your boy. Welcome back, Minecraft Guide. Something's different today. Can you feel it? Uh, take a guess. Down in the comments below, what, what could it be? What's different about everything? Just, uh, just anything. Uh, three seconds. Uh, wrong. One, One second, second left. left. All right, did you guess shaders? If you guess shaders, you're, you're dead, dead wrong. wrong. It's the skin. It's been the skin the whole time. That's right. Waddles 2021. It's, it's back. back. It's, it's fresh. fresh. It's, it's better, better than ever. ever. It, it looks good. Kiss myself. It's so pretty. <laughs> Welcome back to the Minecraft guide, everybody. All of that stuff that just happened, it never happened. It's a figment, figment of, of your, your imagination. imagination. You're going crazy. Get it checked out. In the last episode, we finished up an amazing farm, or really just about finished it up. The gold farm, it's going good. Check out the levels. We are doing well. Today, I think we're going to actually slide back into the nether and set one more thing up. The thing that we're going to set up today, though, it's going to be a whole lot smaller, but definitely hugely useful. You need this if you're doing a lot of stuff in the nether. This thing is is an automatic machine these are the materials for the machine today that we're building a dispenser an observer two building blocks two redstone dust and a respawn anchor and extra glowstone but that that's actually where we need to start today uh glowstone we're out of it so the building blocks they're gonna come with me all of the cats will wait here in the building definitely need to get more of those things soon and uh, don't worry i've seen comments about the storage building like entrance exit area it's gonna get some love really really soon but today we're gonna continue neglecting it all right so here we are in the nether hub today we're going to make some big upgrades to the nether hub over here right there and then over there right there but first glowstone but first, before glowstone, actually, we're going to put some soul sand down, uh, just temporarily, and then actually plant nether ward on it, because for what we want to do today, we need more nether ward, actually. It's weird, but yeah, yeah, we, we need more of this stuff. So temporary farm set up right here, then we can go do some other stuff. All right, so I've got the Silk Touch pickaxe. The armor is actually going to go back on. And then we're going to actually start with a tiny bit more nether exploration. But not over here. No, 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 no. I think what we want to do is actually go back over to the Flower Forest portal and explore from there. We're looking for glowstone. I ideally, two stacks. Three stacks of glowstone. We need a lot of this stuff. And I figured the environment over here doesn't matter at all. I don't know if it's just me, but I am seriously like crazy about trying to preserve the the environment uh, of minecraft like i care how it looks even though uh, honestly in the nether uh, with where the hub is i will probably never see most of the environment but i care deeply about it so basically i figured we could come back over here to where we don't really do anything and just tear the environment up because it doesn't matter as much over here so glowstone trick to harvesting glowstone if you're going to use this stuff as like glowstone or redstone lamps harvest it with silk touch if you're going to use glowstone for like potion brewing and things like that, harvest it with a fortune three pickaxe instead. If you still touch the glowstone block, of course you'll get glowstone. If you use fortune three, you'll get a bunch of glowstone dust. If you harvest glowstone with your hand, you'll get glowstone dust still, but less of it. Glowstone isn't exactly rare, but it's definitely not abundant, so maximize it. If you get lucky though, getting this stuff quickly, lots of it, is pretty simple. Uh, check that out. One giant chunk of glowstone, 59 pieces of glowstone. That's like pretty good. Definitely good. All we need to do is find like two more of those, maybe three if we can get lucky. So I know there's one up there, but if I could find like easier ones first, I would absolutely love that. That one chunk is like really, really high up. Do we have any like down low over here? Um, yeah, probably not. Maybe I should just go for that one next. Oh, that's a lot over there and over there. I think I know where I'm going next, but first, this one right up there. Pro tip when you're getting glowstone, scaffolding. Scaffolding is seriously a huge, huge help because, of course, you can build up with the stuff and then you can build off of scaffolding easily. Of course, you could use other building blocks, but scaffolding, it, it's where it's at. Make that bamboo farm, get the scaffolding. We're deep in enemy territory now. We need to be careful, but I've hit the jackpot. I've hit the jackpot. I found pretty much the biggest piece of glowstone ever. I thought I found it a second ago. No, this is definitely bigger. I think we're probably going to be good when it comes to lava. I figured I would make this little platform right here and then scaffolding and get the glowstone. Oh, this is crazy. This is so crazy. There is so much glowstone here. This is going to be a lot. Definitely. This, this is going to be way more than enough. All we need to do is get all of this. Oh, we're rich now. We're rich. We're loaded. Look at this. I will never need this much glowstone. Hopefully. 
All right, how much did we get? How much did we get? Okay, so I took out all of that. We need to watch out for like these piglins and hoglins. They're like all over the place. I think we're gonna have like over three stacks or maybe, maybe like a little bit over three stacks. Right now we have two stacks. This this better be it. This this is gonna be it, yeah? Yeah, 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 it's all over the place. Okay, there's some over here, okay? And then like all over the ground down here is glowstone. This is, has to be like over three stacks, right? Yeah, 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 over three stacks? Mm-hmm, yeah, easily over three stacks. Okay, we're good. We're good with glowstone. I just need to get the rest of the stuff. We'll grab that, hey, even more down there. And then we're good, we can head back to the base. Oh no, oh no, oh no, they're, they're literally everywhere. They're literally everywhere. There's piglins, like, seriously everywhere. This is not good, not good, not good. Go away, go away. Okay, we're good, we're good. <laughs> I, I don't like piglins, I, I don't like them at all. All right, so back over at the nether hub now. It's time for the machine, the machine itself. So, first things first, we need another respawn anchor. We made our first one in the last episode, but it's up at the gold farm. Ideally, we need a respawn anchor inside of the nether hub, so we'll make that happen. Now, the materials again. A dispenser, an observer, two building blocks, two pieces of redstone dust, a respawn anchor, and then glowstone. So the respawn anchor, as you probably know, they're pretty sweet. Craft one, place it down on the nether, put a piece of glowstone in it, use it, and your spawn is set. If anything bad were to happen, you'd be sent back here. You can charge your respawn anchor up to four times at a time. But what if you wanted more? Well, if you wanted more automatically too, this is the thing for you. It's so, so simple to build and it takes up like no space at all. So first things first, place a respawn anchor down. Then place a dispenser underneath it, facing up into the respawn anchor. So just like that. Then we're gonna need to place an observer looking right at the back side of this respawn anchor. Which side is the back? Well, uh, really, whatever side you're not gonna see. We'll place a building block right there, a building block right there, then we'll grab redstone dust. One right there, leave it just like that, another one right there, just like that, and there we go. That right there is the machine. That's it. That's all you need to do. Now, what we're gonna do is fill this thing with glowstone, but do we want it to sit like that? <laughs> That's the big question because see, we can see the dispenser. So, I'm kind of wondering do we move this down one block? Maybe we do. So, let's check this out. How does this look? Uh, yeah, it's probably a little bit better, but could we maybe, like, take that out? Because I would love to see the bottom, like, the bottom texture of that thing. So what if we were to maybe take both of those out, too? Um, then we're gonna have the black spawns on these blocks, but what if we did, like, that instead? Then we can actually see the respawn anchor. We set a wall up behind it. That'll look sweet. I think that's probably gonna be the way to go. Now, before we do anything else, we're gonna put a little bit of glowstone inside of this dispenser. 20 definitely should be more than enough. Then we're gonna grab one piece of glowstone, use it on this, and check that out. The observer sees the update, the dispenser loads this thing up. Now, we set our spawn at it, and then, if anything bad were to happen, we'd spawn right back here. A block state change would be seen by the observer, and then, uh, this thing would get reloaded, actually. Zero deaths in that world, though, so check this out. Here we have a respawn anchor, it's charged up, I set it up. Now, if something bad were to happen to me, I, I would respawn right there and it's automatically reloaded so we have four charges again with this machine set up just like this and then the dispenser down below loaded up with glowstone this respawn anchor will effectively stay at four respawns forever and that's it that's the big brain move right there so now we need to make it look a little bit better first things first blackstone which i i, I actually forgot it <laughs> i'll be right back i have to go back to the overworld so, like I said, first things first, blackstone. We'll just take the blackstone that we have going already and continue it back one more block. I feel like that'll make things look pretty good and keep things consistent looking. Now, I actually didn't use any uh, cracked blackstone bricks in this whole build, which is kind of a bummer. So, what I think I'm going to do is actually... Uh, maybe mix some in a little bit around this whole nether hub including this wall over here I feel like now would probably be a pretty good time to do this and uh, After reading those bastions a couple episodes back. I have a lot of these cracked blackstone bricks I left most of them actually in the storage building Meanwhile, over here on the rest of this build, it's all the same still. Blackstone going up, blackstone slab going in right there, just to make this wall get a little bit deeper. I think that's pretty good so far. Now, over here, the way that we make this area not spawnable, easy. Staircases may be placed down. Uh, no, 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 we'll try it again. We'll, we'll try it again. Staircases placed down, maybe placed down. Just like that. I feel like that's the way to go. Then, right here, right next to the respawn anchor, I have the perfect block in mind. This block right here, look at how good that looks. Now the respawn anchor, like, spills out onto the floor. 
Oh yeah, that's the way to go for sure. So now we only have one more thing that we need to do and that thing is actually going to be the back wall. So the back wall, I, I want to use a block in this world that I've never used before and actually a block that I don't think I used in the last season, a block that I didn't use in the first season, a block that I've basically almost never used in survival. It's a big day, it's a big day. So to get this block, we're gonna need a furnace and a furnace, then we're gonna need netherrack, netherrack inside of each furnace, just like that. And then we need fuel, which conveniently, right over here, blaze rods. That blaze farm is a beauty. Now, uh, well, well now, we wait. Yeah, so it's actually kind of crazy. I have like almost never used this block. What block? Well, it's expensive, but I, I think it's gonna be really, really cool in here. Red nether bricks right there. New recipes, oh yes. But red nether bricks filling in the back of this wall. That would be really, really sweet. But like I said, they're expensive. It's not the nether bricks. So the, the nether bricks are really easy to get. It's the large amount of nether ward that we're gonna need. We're gonna need to farm nether ward over and over again right here to get enough of these bricks. So for one single brick, we need two nether wards. For one single wall, we're gonna need 56 nether wart, I, I guess, plus two more that we already did, so 58. So that's gonna be 58 nether wart over there. I bought a stack, and then uh, over here, because we're gonna change this wall to 58 nether wart as well. Now, uh, this wall, with our respawn anchor set up over here, will probably go nowhere. It's just gonna be the respawn anchor wall forever. This wall over here, though, I, I do have an idea, a plan for something else over here, which means the red nether bricks that we're going to place down might actually end up being taken out. But here's the catch. I don't know when I'm going to actually do anything over here. It might be soon, like next episode. It might be in, like, a long time. So for now, to finish off the nether hub and actually get rid of all of the nether rack inside of this thing, other than over there, I think we'll put the lodestone right there and then on the ground we could maybe well honestly it doesn't match the lodestone but maybe we could come back in with even more crying obsidian because the stuff it looks so good so crying obsidian stripe right there the whole wall right there is going to be red nether bricks and then the same thing over there unless i get creative and want to put like some kind of cool detail in here maybe like a blackstone wall line blackstone wall line i don't know i'm not too sure yet either way though this nether ward farm needs to get productive and uh, fast <laughs> i don't have a lot of extra nether warts in this world it's actually kind of sad we need a farm for them so unfortunately i think it's gonna be a waiting game um a long waiting game of me standing over here hey wait 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 one grew one grew we're making solid progress game or solid progress yeah it's gonna be a waiting game i think i'm gonna fill this thing up and then when they uh, grow all the way i'll harvest them turn them into bricks uh, i'll be back probably in like a million years um, yep, I'll see you. <laughs> the moment is here. It took so long. So, so long. It was seriously maybe an hour. I don't know. I, I didn't exactly keep track, but it felt like forever. I finally have enough nether wart, though, to finish the build. So, a stack. We'll start there. Yeah, hopefully that's good uh, one stack right here fill in all the nether bricks I decided to come back in and put nether brick walls in here I feel like the walls are gonna look really cool in there and will help break up the wall because I mean otherwise It would just be a giant flat wall. So yeah, 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 yeah. something just like that You know honestly though, I I, I like it. I like it. Okay um, <laughs> Didn't realize how intensely red these these nether bricks were though. Mm-hmm Yep, they didn't realize that, but it's okay. It's okay. We're gonna have to go with it. So, uh, the lodestone compass is sitting in the chest over there. I re-synced it up to this lodestone right there, and then I moved the map right over to that spot there. I also finally got around to putting buttons on top of the nether portal. So now, we should be pretty much spawn-proof in this room entirely. What about this block, that block? I don't know. I'm gonna watch and see what happens. I would hate to have to put something right there. They look good like that. Now, a uh, long term, uh, this thing, we, we put the soul soil in here a long time ago when we were doing the nether hub, and I said, I didn't know how I feel about it. I, I like it. It looks good. But eventually, when we have more crying obsidian, I feel like that should be crying obsidian, like both of it right there, over there, over there, and over there. So we need a lot of it, but there is one way that we could get it pretty easily. But we're not going to worry about that today, because today, instead, to wrap up today's episode, I have one more gigantic project that I'd like to finish up. So we have the nether hub in here, pretty much done now. Respawn anchor, lodestone, everything like that. But the, the transport system, one wing of the transport system is seriously lacking, and that is this wing right here that goes over to the flower portal. Honestly, 
<laughs> I seriously don't know why I never actually finish this hallway. So today, before the end of the episode, I'd like to finish this hallway. I started digging it out. First, I'm going to dig it out. Then I'm going to come back in with ice. Then I'm going to come back in with the glass panes and the torches. This hallway needs to be finished. And then after this hallway is done, the nether hub, at least for now, we're not done with it, but the nether hub for now is basically finished, which is kind of crazy. But yeah, you see, seriously, even with this hallway finished, the nether hub is nowhere near finished. There will still be things that so will be coming back and adding to the nether hub later on. Like I said earlier, like where the lodestone is, I'm thinking about adding something there. I, I have another thing that I want to put in the nether hub. So it's finished, but it's also insanely unfinished. So I finished all the ice, that was pretty easy, I actually have a lot of ice left over. Now it's time for the glass and the torches. Most of this hallway is in the Soul Sand Valley, so if I get the lighting level right, all spawns will basically be blocked out. That's perfect. Oh, and by the way, I already went down to the Stronghold Tunnel, but at this tunnel too, a flower right there, Flower Forest Portal, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, you see what I did there? Yep, mm-hmm, yep, you see what I did there? Yep, my brain, it's swelling. Now, am I going to have enough sand? <laughs> That's a really, really good question. I really hope I'm going to have enough sand, but honestly, I, I'm not sure. And by the way, by sand, I, I, I mean, mean glass. glass. Don't get it mixed up. All right, torches in the offhand, glass in the onhand. Here's what we do. Right here is our starting spot. We have a torch right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we put a torch right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Another torch. One, two, three, four, five, six. You get it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Almost messed up there. One, two, three, four. Okay, I, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off camera. Oh yeah, it is now finished. So check this out. Flower in the item frame right there. Fence gate right there. That means we turn and then we go down this way. We have a light all over this tunnel, all over the hallway. So much quicker, easier to use. And then right here at the end, I've readjusted things. I moved the portal down. It's a weird room. It's fine for now. I've labeled this hallway, which goes over to the first nether borders that we found. Actually, I need to move that up. Whoops. There we go. Much fancier, much fancier. It's labeled, and now I can go over there. That's the OG Nether Vortress, the first one that we found. And then I actually blocked off the old hallway that was right in there. This hallway is the first hallway that we made to connect up to the Nether Hub. But with this one finished now, there's no point in it. I lowered the staircase. Everything's good. Everything is perfect. So... There we go, the nether hub for now, based off of what we've actually started, is pretty much finished. I could definitely use a fancier room for that portal that we were just at though, and the stronghold one, but for now, we're good. With the nether hub set up and done, it's time for the windowed comment of the day. Today's comment of the day is all about raids. When are we going to talk about them? Oh, Agent Agent, you just gave me a phantom membrane? <gasps> Why, thank you. You're so kind. But raids, when are we going to talk about them? So, raids. Raids are definitely something that I want to check out and actually experience this time. When are we going to talk about them, though? Well, actually, maybe soon. So there are a few farms, a few different builds that I'd like to do before we start talking about raids, because when we talk about raids, I think I would actually like to maybe set up a farm for the raids nearby here. The farm idea, the, the concept that I have, should be pretty simple, easily achievable actually, but there are some other farms, some other things that I'd like to do, particularly around this area right here, very, very soon, maybe even next episode. We'll have to find out, I guess, huh? Uh, next episode if you enjoyed this episode smash like subscribe thank you all for watching today huge huge shout out to my patrons cat 0808 and unique sarah until next time stay fresh i'll see you in the next video goodbye everyone